Okay, this is my uh, this is my helm, the original helm that came with my boat. Um, it's it's in pretty rough condition. Um, obviously, side console helm, uh, lots of holes for additional options the previous owner had. Uh, this at one point was a temp gauge. Uh, down here was some other switch. Uh, there were. There was a momentary button here for a horn and then a cigarette lighter, 12 volt accessory. Uh, these three switches um, I'm going to retain. I'm gonna, not going to fill those. Uh, that's why they're not covered up. Uh, this is obviously where the steering goes. Uh, on top, the fish finder location, sonar. Um, it's been sanded down with 80 and 220 grit at this point. Um, I'm a little concerned about this plate right here, this bottom flange. This is where it ties into the deck. Uh, there are some rough areas uh, where it's cracked and it's only one layer of fiberglass thin at this point. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't give me issue as far as strength, but I'm going to try and fill in those screw holes with the uh, 3M all-purpose uh, filler that I can. Uh, again, if you're familiar with fiberglass, it's very similar to uh, uh, fiberglass resin where you have a, a hardener and then the actual filler material itself. Um, anyway, just use some tape and uh, on the back side, what I did was just tape in cardboard panels uh, to the inner skin thereby blocking off the uh, the holes that I wish to fill so the filler can build and not fall back down into the inside of this. As you can see, it, it's in pretty good shape on the inside. Uh, no structural cracking coming apart. This front panel, excuse me, back panel and front panel here, uh, the tie-in uh, with the plywood backing it is solid. It has not come apart there or here. However, Along this side, it did, and a whole bunch of that came out. Um, this side panel here was completely rotted out, and you can see why, because how they tied this in here, they left a, 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 a gap to create a seam to layer into the edge. They didn't do that here. On this side, both pieces of fiberglass come down to the same length, and there would have been wood in between here. Um, so what I've done, and what I'm going to do, is I blocked off the holes. Again, holes here and here on this side. Um, I blocked off those holes, uh, and to, to take up the space in between, I went ahead and took some paint sticks and uh, situated them down in that crack, in that gap. I know you can't see them in there, but they're in there. Uh, that's them right there in those holes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in those gaps with the filler. Uh, just like everything else, once the filler is done, it takes about 30 minutes to cure. Again, it's a quick cure. Uh, it's a chemical reaction, so it heats up real fast. Uh, obviously, I need a mask and everything, but about 30 minutes time, I should be good to go ahead, sand down with the 80, and then step down to the 220 again. Um, and then once we're done sanding, we'll go ahead and give it another spray. Um, and then it's ready for the uh, rolling tip of the navy blue paint that I've got. It's gonna be the first time I've cracked it open for use on anything with this boat, but that is the helm uh, in all its lack of glory. Um, hopefully the next video will show a, a polished, pretty looking boat part and not this piece of junk with writing all over it. Anyway, that's all for now.